Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel another 7 days that I video. I'm doing all this in Alpha 16.4 on the PC. Now this is going to be a very quick modding tutorial and this one goes out to all of my friends and fellow content creators that like to use creative mode but want a little bit more powerful options when you're actually doing this. And so today I'm going to show you how to unlock the Hammer of God, the Super Digger, the Super Wrench, and the Just Die. These are tools that you access by highlighting the Dev Blocks thing here. You can make sure it's open up there and then you scroll all the way to the very bottom here and you'll see that these four tools that you have right here now what these do is basically exactly what you think they do you have a just die pistol which will kill everything in just a single shot you have the hammer of god which will break anything in one hit you got the super digger which will allow you to just single click and it digs a hole in there and then the super wrench which basically does a lot of the same thing that the hammer does but allows you to get some more resources so for those instances when you're just like oh dang it i didn't mean to put that stupid block there you can just walk up to it you know if you're using the hammer of god just smack it two hits and that one is gone or if you drop it down here and you hit the wrench you see it's gone and you do get the resources for it there so i'll show you real quick how to access the okay so the easiest way to figure out where your seven days to die installation is is to open up steam and over on the left hand side under your games where seven days to die right click it and go down to properties and at the top you're going to click on the tab that says local files and then click the button that says browse local files and this is going to open up wherever you have it installed i have it installed on a different drive than the default which is normally your c drive i have it on a different hard drive so mine will look a little differently but that is how to get to your files now from in here all I have to do is open up the data folder, go to config, and you're going to look for this items.xml file. Now before you do anything with it, what I would highly recommend doing is right click it, send to, and then choose compressed zipped folder here. And what that will do is it will create a backup of it just in case you accidentally mess something up and it keeps it from loading up. You don't have to re-verify all the other files and that way you end up with a zip file here of what's changed. Once you're ready to go, all you have to do is just right click and do edit. And this is going to open up in either WordPad or Notepad, it kind of just depends. Um, this opened up in WordPad here, but it looks the same in Notepad. So, now what you're going to do is scroll all the way to the very bottom. Now, you get to the very, very end here, and you have to do some scrolling up. But one of the first things you're going to see as you're scrolling up is you're going to see item ID 15 and 4. You're going to see Hammer of God right here. And then you scroll up a little bit more, and you got Gun Just Die. And then you scroll up a little bit further, and you got Gun Super Digger and Super Wrench. Above Super Wrench is where you're going to see this little thing here. It kind of looks like an arrow with an exclamation point pointing to the left. So what you do is just highlight it and delete it. And then scroll all the way back down to the bottom and you're going to see basically the opposite going this direction, the arrow pointing to the right. Highlight that, delete it. You don't have to do anything else other than just make sure you save it. And there you have it, and that is how you go about getting these four different tools here. And these are in incredibly useful here. They're just, like I said, for those of us that like to do creative building, and you're just like, you keep putting things in the wrong place, or you're trying to tear some stuff apart, and it's like you can just come in, and the whole thing just went to put, and it's done. One hit, pretty much everything is gone. Some of the more reinforced stuff, like the super steel blocks, takes two hits, but that's it. And just walk up and, you know, no longer having to wear an auger on you all the time trying to dig through stuff. This is just a fantastic way to be able to clear some stuff out. Now, I know, like, I know people are going to look at this and be like, oh, that's absolutely cheating. Well, this is, like I said, these are for the people that like to do creative stuff. Those people that like to do building and they make their own bases and they're doing giant structures or they're doing, like, you know, what some of us do in these where we're doing, like, a house building series. It's like, okay well i gotta bust out all this here i can just i don't have to keep refilling my auger i can just jump in you know single hit and i don't want the desk here get rid of that i'll get rid of this chair it's just a very fast and easy way to kind of clear out the general area here so that's pretty much it real simple fast and easy tutorial but this is incredibly useful if you're going to be doing some digging um you know you, you can dig through pretty much anything just a single uh, single click and see, so you've just dug a nice little tunnel. It has, you know, a little bit better range than your shovel does, too. So you can dig a massive hole here just by single clicking. So that's just fantastic. That is absolutely wonderful for those of us that like to do things a little bit more on the creative side of things. That's always fun, too. So anyway, if you have any questions, you know, drop it in the comment section down below, and I'll see if I can help you out if you're just a little bit lost on how to do that. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, if you enjoyed the video, found it useful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below the video. And be sure to subscribe if you're not on already so you don't miss out on the future videos. And uh, if you smack the bell icon next to the subscribe button, you'll get notified when a new video goes live. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for all your support. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.